Hey, it's Brenda, and you're watching The Brenda Show. Waiters! Bitches, and that's on period. Happy Pride, my gays. Joy to the world! Happy holidays, y'all! We have chocolate caramel covered marshmallows with a pretzel stick, peppermint, chocolate covered marshmallows with a sweet candy cane, and a spicy hot chocolate in today's episode. All the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the All right, today you're gonna see the most elaborate, expensive, decadent marshmallows y'all seen here on God's Green Earth. So today we're gonna need some marshmallows, melted chocolates, caramel, pretzel sticks, and some candy canes. Crushed. Yes, father, son, and house of Gucci, God, this is the most complicated relay race you will ever have to do for the end of the year. These are the most extravagant gourmet marshmallows. What we're gonna do is start off with our caramel turds right here. These are soft caramel candies. Do not use grandmother's Werther's original hard candies. Those are not the ones to use. I've piled a lot of the caramel turds in my pot and I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of my caramel turds. Look, it's me after those last three stuffings we made. <laughs> the last Thanksgiving episode. These are just fun. These are gourmet. They're so delicious. There's something about the soft marshmallow and the chocolate and the pretzel that is like sweet and salty all at the same time. But I would just suggest this is for adults, this part, the caramel part, because this goes really quickly. Oh, let me hit start. But I love the nostalgia that the caramel brings to my mouth. Reminds me of me in piano lessons back in the day, sitting there for hours while my brothers and sisters uh, did their lessons and all I could chew on were these caramels. Have them sit in here, keep an eye on it because this goes really fast and I have my uh, cooktop on about a medium heat. And what I've done is I've added a little bit of water, it's just a tablespoon or two. Look, it's already bubbling. Um, and this is the same technique that you would use for candy apples. But today we're just using it for marshmallows. You're gonna wanna have that melt down, but what I'm gonna do is keep an eye on that. Keep an eye, a cl a, 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 a close eye on that. And what we're gonna do is take our marshmallows and prep them. I'm gonna go ahead and take these beautiful, yummy pretzel sticks. Oh, there we go. Oh, mm. smells like Christmas. Listen to me, adults out there, if you're even a kid and you're a fan of me and my, my show, have an adult help you because you can burn and lose two nails like I, like I did doing this episode. So just do that. But in the meantime, keep a close eye on it. We're just gonna go ahead and prep our marshmallows. You know what? The kids can do this part. <laughs> this, not this. Have your little servants do this part right here. That's why we have kids, right? That's why my mom had me. All right, y'all, this is the consistency that we're looking for. And may I just add, having them soft ass candies really helps. Could you make your own caramel sauce, sugar and heat? But let me tell y'all, we don't have time and you can easily ruin the whole recipe and your kitchen and your pot and your stove and, and, and burn a phalange or two. And you just never know, but having them soft candies really helps. Would you look at how gorgeous this looks. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool for a little bit because you cannot stick and dip a marshmallow in hot caramel. It's just gonna melt, <laughs> like me in Orlando, Florida. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is take these melted chocolates. These are specifically for melting. You can find these anywhere in the grocery store. Those chips have a wax coat, and so those will melt as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave. But let me tell you, before I do, 30 second intervals, take them out every 30 seconds, stir it until they melt. Let's go ahead and pop it in. All right, y'all, now that the caramel has cooled down a bit, we're gonna go ahead and gather it to one end of the pan to kind of make a little dip and pull with our spatula. And by the way, I've graced my baking sheet right here so that way I can set the marshmallows and also set my spatula because God knows what a battle stick to. We're gonna go ahead and take a marshmallow, I think I'm gonna use this one right here, and go ahead and just dip it and coat it in the best that you can. Oh, and she snapped on me. Be very careful. <laughs> Don't want to burn. We're going to let the excess drip off. Come on. What we're going to do right here, set this right there. Oh, and it's stuck to my nail. Look at this right here. 
This one looks like Olaf on a bad day from Frozen. It's gonna melt off. The beauty about this is it's gonna be covered in chocolate anyway, so it don't matter. It's gonna go in your mouth. It's delectable, it's caramel, chocolate, pretzels, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish the rest of these and I'll be right back to just dip it in the chocolate. All right, y'all, so I popped these in the fridge, let the caramel harden around the marshmallow and they are ready to be dipped in the chocolate that we melted earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these right here. These still have to set, but this one looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this. And this part, y'all, is so much fun for the kids. So easy to do. This I would rather recommend for them. And also, don't be afraid to scrape the bottom. You're never gonna see it. You don't wanna end up with a turd-ass looking marshmallow. No one does. I'm gonna set it back on my tray, and look how beautiful that is. Y'all, now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and transfer these to the fridge for about five minutes, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, y'all, as those are cooling in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our peppermint chocolate-covered marshmallows. Super easy because we have the leftover chocolate from the last uh, recipe. We're gonna go ahead and take a candy cane, the mini kind, of course. If you wanna go big, use the, the huge ones. But we're gonna go ahead and stick it in, uh, into the marshmallow, and then dip it into there. Ah, uh, look how, oh. Uh, and scrape off the bottom like we did last time. And we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle these crushed candy canes or peppermint candies onto here. Look how gorgeous that is. And you don't wanna roll it and dip it because the chocolate kinda of gets mixed up and it looks like a nasty crunch bar. But we're gonna go ahead and set that on our grease baking sheet and do the rest. Look how pretty that looks. Mm. All right, y'all, these are all coated and done. I'm gonna go ahead and set these with their neighbors in the fridge, and we'll move on to a chocolate latte, caliente, poco picante. That's hot chocolate with a little bit of spice. All right, y'all, for this chocolate caliente un poco picante, we're gonna need some half and half dark chocolate fudge, chipotle chili pepper powder. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Some cinnamon sticks and some whipped cream. Oh, and don't forget the alcohol we have right here, some Irish cream liqueur. All right, y'all, keep a close eye because this is gonna go really fast. We're gonna go ahead and take our half and half and pour all of this into our saucepan. I have it at about medium heat, and this is just gonna be a delight for the holiday season. Next, this one right here, this is um, my friend Mia's brand. This is MMM Dark Chocolate. She also has caramel, and the brand it represents her whole family because the whole family are M's. <laughs> Morgan, Michael, Mia, McKenna, Milana, me, <laughs> um, so we're just gonna pour this whole thing in. That's funny because Patrick's family are all peace. I don't know why Mama started that. <laughs> Patrick's not even Irish. <laughs> I'm not trying to waste no chocolate, so forgive me for taking so long. Okay, so for the um poco picante, which means a little spicy, this chipotle chili pepper is not all that spicy. This is just gonna add that smoky flavor, just to add a little bit of dimension to that hot chocolate. So what we're gonna do is add a little dash. For all my brave hearts out there, if you do want to go ahead and spice it up, add a pepper or whatever y'all want at home. But for that smoky flavor, chipotle chili pepper powder in this hot chocolate. And last but not least, one cinnamon stick, and we're gonna wait for that to heat up and whisk it until it's nice and well incorporated. All right, y'all, as that is simmering in our pot, we're gonna go ahead and add to our cup Irish cream liqueur. Looks about right. And we're gonna go ahead and add in our hot chocolate, our chocolate picante caliente. Top it off with some whipped cream and sprinkle a little bit of that peppermint candy from earlier. Joy to the world, y'all, this is just absolutely rich. And when I say rich, not an actual expensive, but rich in calories, okay? There's the sugar plum fairy and there's the calorie fairy. And that is me, guilty, naughty list me. Speaking of naughty, I nibbled on the chocolate caramel covered pretzel marshmallows. 
absolutely divine. The texture and the caramel on the inside with a sweet surprise is so yummy. I can't even help myself on talking about this. This is the peppermint chocolate covered marshmallows. So fun, so festive. They are the most festive holiday um, marshmallows I've ever seen in my life. This I have yet to try. This is our spicy chocolate caliente picante um, hot chocolate with a little bit of fudge. And we're gonna go ahead and try this. But look how gorgeous this looks. There's a lot of liqueur in here. Let's give it a try. Mm. That will put you away in a manger. Y'all need to try these recipes. If you do, be sure to tag Patrick Star on social media. Try these at home. They're so fun. Do it with a family. Get yourself on the nice list and do it for a loved one at home. If you like what you see, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget when life gives you mess, come to BS and uh, have fun, live, laugh, loads. Mm. The brand is shot.